Good morning, and I'm really delighted to share my Santa Christmas journal with everyone. Before I begin, I just want to mention that I've been a faithful fan of the Graphics Fairy website since 2010 when I first discovered this incredibly generous blog and the large selection of wonderful vintage imagery it offered to crafters, and I just want to thank the Graphics Fairy for always being there for us. This little journal is made with a brown paper bag used as its base, but before I open the journal, I want to share the journal papers I made in Photoshop using images from the bundles that are available on the premium website. Um, the first page I want to share with you is uh, this one. It's the um, Santa who is featured in the uh, Scandinavian Christmas bundles. And this uh, topography comes from the Christmas tree farm bundle and the border is made using the uh, winter greenery bundle, which is a really fabulous bundle and it made a great border. Um, my second page is uh, this, this page that I use the same winter greenery bundle and two pieces of the um, antique sheet music bundle, which just has a Christmassy feel to it. And then the final page I used um, this uh, Santa from the Nostalgic Christmas Illustrations bundle, along with From the Sounds of Christmas, this typography. So let's get back to the journal and open it up. Um, to begin with, I did use a lot of old lace to embellish my journal. It's in various layers. Um, I did use also some, some netting I have from an old Bombay Company mosquito net. And these old jingle bells I've had for years, they used to be bright silver, but now they're kind of tarnished. So we'll open it up. And um, this bundle comes from my collection of, oh, I have a huge, huge collection of old buttons, and I just love that that cherry red color. She, she, it went so well with the Santa. When you open up the journal, um, you see a lace pocket, but there is also sort of like a hidden pocket because what I do is I reinforce the inside of the pocket that's created when you cut open the ends of the paper bag. Um, the first thing in this pocket is a coin um, envelope that I made using a Santa that came from the pastel Christmas bundle. He's probably my second favorite Santa. And then one of my favorite bundles while I was making this, this journal was the holiday fruits and nuts. And I did use quite a few uh, of the fruits and nuts with the, um, the idea in my mind that Christmas stockings used to be stuffed in Victorian times with fruits and nuts. And um, so that just really spoke to me in making this kind of vintage Victorian Christmas bundle. Here's a telegram I created and I did um, write it up with the first verse of the Night Before Christmas poem. I love making old telegrams and I do print them on newspaper print paper because it's so thin and it mimics old telegram paper. In this pocket, here we have another one of the fruits and nuts from the bundle. On all the fruits and nuts, I did go into Photoshop and I, I put them all with a little border around them to sort of make them stand out. And I did uh, put some of the various typographies that were available stamped them right on the front. Um, this this little card, which I did embellish with the word winter that is also in one of the, the bundles, I believe it's in the Blue Jay winter bundle. Um, this, this, and I embellished it also with some doily. I love this pine bough. This envelope is made from the tattered um, remnants collection that just came out. And I just love this paper, and I stuffed it with some Santa tags that I punched, and they can actually be used as tags. Here's a Santa that um, I have just sort of hanging around in my digital stash of Santas. Um, 
this little glassine bag, which I've embellished with this pretty little green tinsel, and you open it up, it does have an ad for a 1938 Christmas Savings Club. And I just, I just really, it spoke to me because when I was a little girl, my mom took me every year at the beginning of the year to down to the bank to open up my Christmas club so that I could put a little bit of my allowance in there so I'd have money at the end of the year to buy everybody Christmas presents. Um, this is a piece of old ledger paper that I reinforced with some um, gel medium and rice paper so it wouldn't rip. This pocket is made with lace and has a little bulb pin and a Christmas star hanging from it. And I did, this once again comes from the pastel Christmas bundle. I love that beautiful little card and some little flat flash cards. Um, this pocket is made from a glassine bag that, that I just embellished with a little bit of my tinsel and a fussy cut. When you go turn it on the other side, there is another uh, wonderful piece of ephemera from the pastel Christmas bundle. Um, the pages that you're seeing, these old brown pages, come from a book that I actually own, but it's so old and so crumbly, I couldn't possibly use the actual pages. So I did scan all the pages in, and I do sort of print them front and back. And um, in making this book, what I did was I reduced everything from 100% down to 80% so it would fit in the paper bag. And now here we have my little antique uh, sheet music paper that I created with some ephemera and I've attached this ephemera to this this um, page with um, a rusty old paper clip and here's a rusty old safety pin and what I do is I, I make these well I, I don't make the paper clip or the safety pin but I do age them using um, white vinegar and salt and then curing them in hydrogen peroxide now here's the center of the journal, and a lot of my journals, if it's a center of a signature, and in this case it's the center of the actual journal, I make a double pocket, and on this double pocket I did use the Santa and the sleigh, and I purposely made it so this reindeer would go across to the next page. Um, I've stuffed it with images such as this sweet doggy from the Holiday Pets bundle, and some more Santas from my Santa stash. Um, and I've embellished it with some lace. This pocket also comes from, this This tag I made comes from the Holiday Pets. Um, and here's a sweet little uh, Christmas tag. Um, I made this tag using Graphics Fairy from one of the wallpaper kits. Um, I apologize, I can't remember which one. Um, but I did like sew the little pocket on, embellish it with some crepe paper, ruffle and a flash card and then this sweet old photo of stockings hanging very very Christmassy and this page from my book is the night after Christmas um, here's the back of that glassine bag and then here's another instance of where I went into Photoshop and created this envelope this is from the the Dickens Christmas bundle. There was a, a little old ephemera and ad for this celebrated mincemeat. And what I did is I took the top and put it on the, the front of the envelope and used the bottom as the flap of the envelope and then used the plum pudding that also comes from the Dickens Christmas bundle at the bottom. And I stuffed it with a couple of cards. But it it, it's cute because it shows through the glassine bag and then I let it hang over the, the back side of that bag. Um, now here's the, the other side of that old ledger paper. And inside, I loved it, it's St. Teresa's Convent, which I thought had a, a Christmassy feel to it. And here's an actual piece of ephemera from my, my ephemera collection that came out of an old scrapbook and it's, it's an actual old piece of Victorian ephemera. And on the trifold, on the back side, I have with one of my rusty paper clips attached another sweet little glassine bag that I've embellished with some lace and tinsel and a button. And it's full of some cute little tags.
tags. Um, on this page, um, I do have some more little tags from the Graphics Fairy, um, one of the Victorian bundles. They're they're very um, they're very cute. I did fussy cut them and I put holes at the top so they can have ribbons and um, and then here's a from the Scandinavian bundle and this Santa who's the star of our show he comes from the Scandinavian packet bundle as well. I loved that bundle. It's um it's very um got a lot of really good imagery in it and. He comes with his own flash card and his shiny bite ornaments and his little pocket. You can stuff, it's a big pocket, so you could actually stuff a lot more stuff into that pocket. And then we come to the last page. Here's a lovely, I love this, this piece of imagery from the Sounds of Christmas bundle. And here's two little boys that I made into a tag. They're playing on their drum and their horn. And Finally, I end with the fruits and nuts because I just really couldn't get enough of them. And I embellished this orange and put it um, at the back because in a stocking, the orange was usually in the bottom of the stocking and no Victorian Christmas stocking was complete without an orange. So um, there you have it. That is my, my little Christmas journal. And I hope you enjoyed looking at it. I hope you enjoyed seen it as much as I enjoyed making it. I really had a fun time putting this all together. And thank you, Graphics Fairy, for the opportunity and all the lovely imagery. I appreciate it. Merry Christmas, everybody.